Uh, we'll have the roll call. Okay, uh, Dick Bennett? I'm here. Betsy Harding here. Scott Badger? Here. John Allen? Here. Kathleen Doherty? Here. Larry Siebert? Here. B. Davis? Here. And Tara Kimball? Here. And there is a, a sign-in sheet circulating, I hope. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. So we will have uh, the other seven be the voted members tonight. All right. So now we'll have the uh, minutes of the last meeting. Has everybody had a chance to look at them? that we're going to be dealing with okay. someplace. Give me copies. And we've got another copy here. I don't know. <coughs> I, know, I had about copy. 10 extra copies. There, was there any? They were on the corner of that table. There was right nothing there. on the corner mm -hmm. here. When I, can, I can make extra copies. And we can it is. That, no. That's them? I don't know. There was nothing here. When I could, so mm -hmm. I, Maybe okay. somebody passed them out or something. Yeah, this, this well, I passed them out at the table, oh, and then there yeah. were about That's 10 extra. Right. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, it's all right. Oh, we'll get to sure. it. Yeah. Uh, the minutes. Any corrections? I, I do have a question. No, no corrections or anything. I don't know if that comes after we approve them or not. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> Betsy, when you, when you called North Country Council, did you get any any feedback from them on the um, on the zoning ordinances? Yes, and uh, I did say that in an email. I don't have a copy of that, but I said that, um, let's see. The Tower of Bradford Right. Oh, she is? Yes. Oh. Yes. She's um, the planning coordinator. The only change she made, um, as I remember it, was to move um, the wording on the section on setbacks. Uh -huh. um, she moved the wording to, um, let's see, where we had, uh, that provides access to the lot on number one of section 4.3.2.3. We had, that provides access to the lot at the end of the 16A, and she moved it to before that, so that it follows right after right of way that provides, so that it makes same it, words, just different. Same words, but different location, and it made sense because the whip we had it accidentally <coughs> was disjointed, and she pulled it together. Um, okay. I move that we accept the minutes. Second. All in favor? Uh, Aye. 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 Any opposed? The minutes are approved. Uh, we're open for public comment at this time. <clears throat> Terry? Uh, I had asked the clerk of the selectmen at their meeting this evening to consider having a conversation on the amount of salt that we use on our highways um, in consideration of uh, our water supply and or uh, applied light. And um, I'm wondering if the planning board would consider having that same conversation as to um, how much salt we should or should not use on our town roads. Um, just for thought. Um, then the second question I have is, um, there's 7.15, I have a public hearing. Is it fair to assume that this is not a public hearing on the amendments as they will appear on the warrant and therefore does not count as that public hearing? 
No, I think it is the public hearing. It's the first public hearing for our proposed changes to the zoning ordinances. But this is not as they will appear on the warrant. Well, if they're changed now, then we have another meeting. So this is the public hearing then on the changes that will appear on the warrant. Right. This is the public hearing for a review of the zoning ordinance proposals that we're putting forth. Okay. Have these proposals, as they're presented tonight, and you're suggesting as they will appear on the warrant, have they been voted by the board to be put placed on the warrant? No. All we have voted on, or I'm not even sure if we took a, excuse me, I don't know if we took a formal vote, but we worked on the wording, and I thought we had accepted it as a group. Now, whether we go through this, we listen to the public comment. If we choose to change anything, we'll do that. I checked the minutes, and there was no vote taken by the board to approve these changes. Okay, as a we'll do board. that at this time. And at the end of the discussion, we'll have a vote, if there are no changes. I don't see why we would have voted it before we listen to the public comment. Well, as I understand the RSA, the public hearing is to occur after the board has approved um, changes to the warrant, as or changes to zoning, as they will appear on the warrant. Okay, I have that in my left hand. So this is the public hearing for This is the public hearing. Any other comments? B just asked, was it posted? Did, was it posted as a public hearing? Yeah. Yes, it was posted, oh, and I have a copy of the... And it was in the newspaper. Just check it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I'm just curious, is there an issue? No, I just Okay. Asked is there an issue with... Well, the issue that I had is when something, when you have a public hearing, when something that's going to appear on the warrant, the board has to vote it as such. To appear on the warrant or to bring hmm? forth to, to appear on the warrant or to bring forth to appear. As it appears hearing. on the warrant. That's when 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 proposals as they will appear on the warrant are prepared and voted by the board, whether it's selectmen or or um, okay. planning board or whatever board, that's when the public hearing should happen. It's my understanding that we don't know at this point how they will appear on the warrant. Um, we're bringing them forward to the public. We're ready for discussion about them, uh, ready for input on them, possible changes that might be made. And typically, as I remember, the way we've done it in the past was at the end of the public hearing, we then vote on the proposals that we would expect to go forward to the um, town meeting ballot issues. So I don't, I don't know if that's different now. Right, because we're in agreement that these words are what we would put forward for the town meeting at this time. Now, after a discussion with the public, if there's changes to be made, we'll make them, and then we'll have another public hearing. And the, and the board prepared these as a group? Yes. If I could add something, I, because we haven't voted on them, I didn't necessarily agree with them. You know, I, I mean, I, I know this is what we've put forward so far, but I, you know, I, I, I don't necessarily agree with all the wording. And I thought we were going to solidify that tonight. Any wording that may or may not need to be added, or you know, and if it's uh, uh, wording that will change the intent of the ordinance, I thought we'd have to have another public hearing. That was my understanding. But, but. Right. Well, it was at the last uh, meeting, the December meeting, which, okay, which I was at. Um, and we went through it all, and okay. decided, knowing that what we had to post was um, the wording that would go on the warrant. That's what has to be posted before the 
the public hearing. So I'm sorry if you couldn't attend that meeting to be here to put your input in at that time. At this time, this is what we're putting forward. And that was the agreement of this board from the December meeting. We also have a, a time frame we have to do this in. This meeting gives us enough time to have another meeting. I believe on the, what did we say, the 24th of January or the 22nd? I think it might if be. If we needed another meeting, we had enough time, we would add whatever wording was not acceptable. That's what I understood. 22nd was the 22nd. date we said was possible. The 22nd. Mm -hmm. All right, I would like to have the public hearing for the Davis Davis proposed lot line adjustment. I have the return registered mail. I have the checklist from the last time. Do we feel we have to go through the whole checklist again or can we go to the things that were in question? I would say the latter. Would you all like to look at a map of the proposed lot line adjustment? We didn't give this a conditional approval in November. Yes. Okay, yes. I, I just thought when you gave something in a conditional approval that they just had to come in and Came for three or four items with the with the uh, chair. As I remember, right, and these are the as maps as that have the changes on them. But we couldn't give it a, a conditional approval because we hadn't noticed the uh, abutters. Right. So we couldn't take it that far, as I remember. Oh, okay. We reviewed it. Oh, okay. okay. They had noticed the abutters. Mm -hmm. Would you do me a favor and just pick up your pile of papers? Yeah, here they are. Oh, are just, they under your yes. house? Oh, right <laughs> I on found the them all along the way and I said it to her. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. Anybody who would like a copy of the zoning ordinance? Now, here, I didn't want to cut anyone off to tell you that. <laughs> Did this propose changes? Yes. Okay, fees are paid. <laughs> Five copies. And you even brought the Mylar. Well, it seemed like it was, you know, it's not a lot, it's not like we're subdividing 100 lots with roads and sub, you know, substations and things like that. It seemed pretty straightforward. Uh, it's not signed by everyone. I think we have three quarters of the people here that could sign it. And then plus the planning board. So I did bring it along. Well, you leave it with us. Yes. And then I'll stamp it, sign it, and then we right. send and it. And I think all we're missing here is Randy, who would actually sign it tonight. Everybody else is here. Okay. Okay, so we have the ownership chart. Top left, yep. So I can check that off now. Uh, we're going to check on deed restrictions. Pardon me? Deed restrictions. Deed restrictions, I believe that the note is on there about uh, whether or not there are deed restrictions. We've looked through the deeds, and here it is right here. The only thing that we find is that we're proposing a right of way across one lot to the other. But the deeds, as they came into us, we've thoroughly reviewed and they're short. And the deeds that they refer to were in Coas County and they're burnt. Yeah. And so we see old paths across and some things that look maybe older than logging roads, but we can't know anything. And all the land surrounding us is either condemned or it's Mac Beal land. And he already has a right of way through the land, um, but not with it, not with the deeded right of way. Okay, we 
good with the... In any event, I put the disclaimer on that if there are any deed restrictions that come up, because who knows who may surface with some either recorded or unrecorded document and a copy of it that we cannot find through all the research. So you've done the research and haven't found it? No, they're Burns books. Yeah. All existing or proposed easements, right-of-ways, buildings, other essential features. They're on there. It's pretty bleak out there, but everything that is man-made, try to show. Does anyone have any issues? I think I covered up your mic. No, that's all right. Then you hear me anyway. <coughs> well, then, I'd say we should take a vote on this. Have we voted as to whether this is a completed application? That we should oh, vote that first. That's right. First. <clears throat> I move that it be accepted as a complete application. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right, it's a complete application. Now, do we accept this complete application? <laughs> I move that we accept the application. And I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any Aye. opposed? There it is. Let's some signatures. Thank you. That was easy. Well, I have signed this. If uh, Bob, B, and Rick could uh, sign this, then we need Randy to come down and the planning board. I've already put their thing in, so they don't need to actually stamp it. They just need to well, sign. Look at that. Well, the computer's an amazing thing. <laughs> and let's see. Yeah, I signed it. I would like to thank everyone for your time. I know it's a huge hassle, and I can see it's not just meetings like this. There's the whole planning and stuff to go into the future, and I feel for you all. <laughs> Let's see, I'm missing a couple of maps. John, are you both done? I have one. one. Uh, this is <laughs> oh, if I could say one other thing. Certainly. The uh, block in the corner that needs to be signed, it's kind of a hassle, and no other town does this. And the fact is, if I was to come forward with a false boundary line adjustment and record it, I'd lose my license. But the real thing takes place with the deeding of this. And if that was to go forth as false, I'd go to jail for years. And it's the real deeding of it that matters. And the signing of this is not really consequential in the eyes of the law. They really look at the deeding. Except at county. They... One no, no one. town, no other town has the the oh. uh, owner sign these things. Well, we'll make note of that and uh, review it in our ordinances. In this case, everyone lives in town. It's not the worst, but we have had some sending them around the world to be signed by more than five people, and it only got worse. <laughs> anyway, thanks again. Thank you, Thank you Bob. This addresses the question that Jerry brought up. Tom, you might pronounce that if you want. What are you saying? All right. What are you saying? Oh, 6753, number three. Room number three. Six and seven. Okay, well then, why don't we move right on to the public hearing for the proposals of of the proposed changes to the zoning ordinance. All right. 
after the public hearing, the planning board shall, by vote, determine the final form of the ordinance, amendment, or amendments to be presented to the town or village district which ordinance or amendment may include editorial revisions and textual modifications resulting from the proceedings of that hearing. Do those words resonate? I, I hear what you're saying, but I still did, have not seen a vote to put this thing to that the board voted that they should put this forward. So what should we do? I'm sitting here. Should we you. stop the meeting? No, I mean, I'm, I'm just saying what? that I would like to have a, a, some subsequent public hearing when it's completed. So the RFA that he read, you think that that's not what no, we should I be adhering I, to? I heard you don't think you. that's accurate? I, I accept that, but go go ahead. I'll have, I have some questions as we go along. Well, I know you, you're a really good scrutinizer of things like that, and if we're missing something, let us know. Um, I, I'm going to throw a bookmark in there. If, is there another article? I, I, I just wondered if this was something that the board voted to put forth. Okay. Okay, does everybody have a copy of the proposed changes that, that would like one? What did you say? Or five? Yeah. <laughs> the fact that I happen to have five of them, sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I asked you right at the beginning. <laughs> I guess I tucked them in my books and I didn't realize it. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can't have enough scrap paper. Okay, so how would, should we proceed? Should we read each one? Can people, uh, there's not enough people here that they can't read for themselves and uh, in common. That is how we are handling the case that we okay. don't have a full section that says use is not permitted. <clears throat> when you have a section that says use is permitted, that means if you want to do something and what you want to do isn't in that list, then it's not permitted. If, you, if your ordinance is designed so that its use is not permitted, then if something you want to do is not on that list, it's okay. So we decided so, to go well, with permitted. So we went with permitted, and so what we have done is taken those items which were under their own section is not permitted, putting them as 
exceptions or limitations on a particular use, which is done quite frequently. Because in that case, trying to list all of the businesses that might be permitted would be probably impossible, right? We're just listing the ones not permitted, right? Right. Which and so was at the beginning. <laughs> no, it's it's because yeah. the uses. If you have just straight, if it's on a separate section, then that excludes everything, everything else. But by putting it in that what we had been talking in the uh, <clears throat> in the present zoning ordinance with its use is not permitted. They are specific businesses which are not, which we say are not permitted. And so that really is an exception to the general category of businesses. Okay, in the big picture, if we were to try to list all the businesses that would be permitted, we'd have a huge list and we probably couldn't even think of them all at this time because those businesses don't even exist yet. But they're coming. I don't know what they would be. But we didn't accomplish what we say we're accomplishing in the first sentence. That's, that's what but I, just, I think in some situations you can't. Okay. And that's why. Well, and, and lawyers and professional planners recommend that we do it in a particular way, but I don't think that means that we can't address certain situations in a way that makes sense. Does anyone know why um, professional planners and lawyers recommend that zoning owners just clearly indicate permitted uses but not, and so forth and so forth? Does anyone, can anyone explain to me the logic behind that concept? It's a shorter, <coughs> it's a shorter list. Hmm? It's a shorter list. They say that um, if you have both permitted and non-permitted, that there may be some gaps in there um, that you're not dealing with and um, some overlaps that aren't properly dealt with either. So it's much better to have a totally permitted section or a totally non-permitted section, and then you can have exceptions within those. Um, so. I totally agree and understand that having the exceptions within the permitted uh, makes it look a little bit like not permitted, but this is the way they recommend that we do it. Because if you have both the section of permitted uses and then you have the section that says not permitted uses and then somebody wants to do something that is on neither list, is it permitted or is it not permitted? That's and so now that's it's either permitted or accepted, accepted from, right. except for under number three. Everything's permitted except for. There are certain ones then that are. So it, what it is doing is further defining what is permitted. Not every town is going to be opposed to casino gambling. Not every town is going to be opposed to amusement parks or water slides. That's specific for Jackson. Where this doesn't change anything, I, I'm sorry, I, I don't have a problem with it, but it, I just don't see that we accomplished what we're saying in the first line. Well, I think the change is the way we had it before. There might be a business that we don't list as either permitted or not permitted and then it falls into a limbo. The way we're doing it now, if it's not one of the not permitted businesses and it's a professional, whatever it was, okay. um, then it's you have permitted. a suggestion of what would make it better. No, I don't. Um, other than, what would other make than it clear? removing the, uh, the, the professional planners and lawyers recommend. Okay. Why would you, recommend, why would you uh, well, delete that? <laughs> because, once again, if you read down it, it doesn't necessarily make sense. If okay. you're only putting the permitted uses, and then you say except for... It's an exception to a permitted use, okay. Except for means not. <laughs> in other words, that's a small sphere within yeah, a... But it doesn't really matter. This is just... Right. I, okay, so I, I don't know what the argument is. 
works. That's a, there's a big sphere of permitted, and there's a very small sphere there of not. Uh, then maybe we could rewrite that in the. It's different than two spheres. Maybe we could rewrite it in the professional plan somehow. Okay. To, so that. Why is it that contradict. statement? Because it contradicts what we did. We listed. We said we were going to list either the permitted uses or the not permitted. Okay. Well, okay. not not list permitted, and not permitted uses. It was not have a permitted section and a not permitted section. So mm, that is what they are. As separate sections. Have have it go one way. Then, okay. if you need to for your town to make an exception to the broad categories, you can. If you will think that makes perfect well, sense, and I'm, I'm I mean, it. It, we could take um, it to a, we could take it did. to a vote. No, I'm not opposed to anything we did. I, I just I somehow that doesn't make sense to me. But that's all right. I, it, it, we, apparently, it's only me. <laughs> it sounds like it, but I, I'm happy, to, as I said, to take no, it to a vote. No, we're we're okay. With it. I mean, it doesn't really change anything. That we're just changing word. We're not we're not changing anything. I have a question. With respect to um, businesses that are outside the village district, such as businesses, for example, Black Mountain. If Black Mountain wish to put in a tubing park, is that a permitted or not permitted use? It's not permitted. It is not permitted. Well, see, now they're in two categories. There are a business in the rural residential, so I don't think they can change their business. Yeah, but they used to have two behind, Excuse me? behind Whitney's, yes they did. Didn't they have yeah. tubing behind Whitney's at one time? They had tubing there 10 years ago. Yeah. yeah. Well, they did. Just they did. Right. Well, I would say then, if they were to make that change, that they should come to the selectmen, because it would be a change of use from the ski area to a tubing. They, they were still skiing too. I mean, the tubing right. was at night. Right. But the selectmen, <clears throat> the, only, the only one that can permit that under your description right now would be the ZBA. Okay. So and I, and I'm, I'm wondering if that is your intent. Would you is it, is it is it your intent to block someone like Black Mountain from putting in a tubing park? Well, I think yeah, I, I I would say yes, because that would then require lighting. Well, no, I don't think this change in the wording makes any change in the intent of the zoning ordinance right now. I don't think it's new. I don't, I don't think this is new wording. It's just moving it from one section to within We're another just section. Doing it a different way. And as we went through this, we realized that there may, may be some issues here as far as content is concerned. But at this point, we did not want to get into that. I, as I think I heard you say that it would require lighting. Um, how is that true? What? Did someone say it would require lighting? I said no. that. How I'm an electrician, so How I'm always <laughs> trying to promote lighting. <laughs> that notwithstanding, how would it be true that they would be required to have lighting? Well, I think their insurance underwriter would. They don't need lighting for skiing. At night? I, well, they I believe they do. Hmm? I believe they do. Yeah, but they don't. I mean, if they yeah, just had the tubing in the daytime, they wouldn't. I'm not talking about, talk about nighttime tubing or nighttime skiing. Oh. I'm talking about a tubing park that would operate during the day. During the day, during the day. Okay. This doesn't change anything. No, and, and, and I, so, I, I, but I'm, I'm commenting to that thing. You may change that if you wish to. Is it your intent to not allow that? No, we're not intent on not allowing anything. It's our intent to just try to clean up the ordinance. We're trying to get the words to make sense. We didn't want to bring up something terribly controversial. There were a variety of things we discussed. Some of them would have been pretty controversial. And all we're trying to do is clean up the ordinance 
so that it makes more sense. So you're on, you're on the record then as saying you're, it is not your intent to block two of the weapons. I guess I'm on camera, so <laughs> there's some kind of record of this. <laughs> Um, we're, we're not intending but to I'm not order. trying to uh, promote it either I think an even larger issue was the idea of schools schools in the rural residential area of town, district of town and we didn't go into that, we're not trying to legislate that but I think that's a, probably a, a bigger issue than tubing at Black Mountain. Well, I, I was just, I, it, it just caught my eye that, you know, amusement parks are kids. I was wondering if you would include in that concept the concept of a tube. Well, we have that in the ordinance right now. That's the words that are there. That's exactly the words that are in the ordinance right now. But, right. Well, it's I thought open. you were proposing changes, too. No. 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 no, no it's we're, just trying, we're trying very hard to just not to change anything. Move, move the wording to get it so that the zoning ordinance is consistent with itself. The and so, if we get, if yes. we want to get into other issues, ask, ask and answer. I mean, you answered. Okay. Sorry. So, right. so, have we? Uh, advance through the first section up to what event have we Well, then let's go on to the uh, proposed amendment number two. Do we want to vote on these as we go through them or all? Uh, I'm going to go at the end. If uh, Betsy will take down whatever comments, then we can add them to what's written or not as we choose, but that I think we should vote on and then vote on the amendments. I had Robbie. Uh, in that section, I have a question with regard to uh, also the strikeout of, which is not a property boundary, makes sense because structures should be set back from any body of water. And as I see uh, in number three, it says from the near bank of any year-round stream or body of water, and then the struck out, which is not a property boundary, 50 feet. So just to clarify this, um, I have both situations. I have a body, well, I have water that is a, a back boundary, and it's my boundary to my neighbor. But I also have a stream that's in the boundaries of my property. So right now, as it stands, um, the back stream, which is a bound, sets it as a boundary, I only have to be 25 feet away from that, but I, but I do have to be 50 feet away from the stream that is within my boundary. No, I think you have to be 50 feet from a stream. From both streams? Yeah. Okay, well that's what I want to clarify because we're crossing it out right. and it says which is not a boundary. We didn't want to limit it only to streams that were acting as a boundary. But uh, I'm asking was prior to this suggestion was that boundary 25 feet set back? It was, the intent was never for it to be 25 feet. But was it? Because it is a boundary, and number uh, two is from an abutter pop property line, mm -hmm. 25 feet. So, uh, it was always 50 feet from a stream. Which is not a boundary. 
properly, which, which is, is not, not a problem. Which problem. is or is not. Either well, way. No, no, no. This is what. Oh. No, the way it's the way it reads right now is that um, your setback from year-round stream is 50 feet if it's a boundary. But it does. It's. Um, it's silent as to the setback from a stream, which is not a boundary. Okay. So we're looking to make the boundary streams also 50 feet. Is that correct? Also. They're 50 it feet is, now. They're, they're 50 feet now. It's to make the setback from any stream 50 feet, whether it's a boundary or not. Uh, I'm not contesting that, but I'm just looking for clarification. Right. And I'm looking at the, the, the way number three was stated prior to the cross out. Yep. From the near bank of any year round stream or body of water, which is not. A so property boundary, okay. 50 Wait. feet. To me, that oh, oh, oh. means uh, it that's is not a boundary. It is 50 feet. If it is a boundary, it is something else, and that something else would be an abutter property line, which is 25 feet. I'm just mm -hmm. trying to make no. that clear. Oh, so 69. And that's the way I would interpret it. It's very specific. No, this is, it's a typo. A well, it's a typo. And it's not a typo. That, no, because the way, I have the, the zoning ordinance right here. So do I, right here. And it says the same thing, Sarah. Which is not number three. <laughs> Which is a pop. Which is not a boundary. NOT. That's yeah. very clear. Yeah, I know. What I'm saying is that if you look at the zoning ordinance right now, 4.3.1.2, yeah. number 3, states that from the near bank of any year round stream or body of water, which is a property boundary, is what it says now. So what on this sheet that we of well, our proposal is five in that section from the near bank of any year round stream no, it or be. body of water which is a property boundary. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Right, yeah, that's the way five. it's stated now. Um, the, okay. so, so what we have in front of us is simply a typo. We can right. Is it that, that's a typo that, in So R. is that what you're right. referring to as the typographical error? The error is in the our striking. proposed amend amendment. That's what my fault. There. What's written there um, is to be stricken out is incorrect. That not should not be there at all. Okay. I'm sorry, Robbie. That was my fault. Very good. I just wanted to but thank you for pointing that out because I yep. think we read it as okay. carefully as that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, well, we're just trying to get rid of that word there, which. Shouldn't be the, there. The not shouldn't be there because it's not in the original. Because it was never there. Uh, the not know. was not there. The not that we crossed out was never there. Right. Right. <laughs> so in, both no, both in both of them. In both of them. In both of them. Okay. Yeah. No. Sorry. Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry about that. Oh. Yeah. So, so what we are rather. doing is removing the restriction <clears throat> on the year-round stream. You know, the way it's stated now is that the setback is is 50 feet from the stream only if that stream is a poverty boundary. And what we're saying is that it really should be 50 feet from any year-round stream. Jerry? In your... Um, Wording here, you say 50 feet from um, the sideline of the street. How does okay. planning? Now we're back up to the one a lot. Yes, but any street. How does the planning board define the location of the street? Well, much of the town has deeded right of way. Right. 
there's some ambiguities up on Tyrol. And other places. Well, well yes, but I, I'm thinking of them because we've had to deal with them more. But there still is a plot that says this is the right of way. So it's the de it's the deeded width of the highway, then, or road or private way, yeah. not the paved part. No, no, I think you'd have to go to what is of record. I was thinking of Tyrol, the. That's the road off to the right at the top. Anyway, the road was actually built on somebody's property. Mm. And I think it got straightened out with mm. some lot line adjustments. Yeah. Dick, is that 50 feet from the center of the road or from the edge of the road? Edge of the road. Edge of the road. Of the road. Mm. So it's and that's what I was trying to find. What is the edge of the road? Well, it depends on what the deed it is, uh, you know, lot by lot, it can be very different. So you have to refer to the official record. Would it be well, better to job, clarify for everybody? What's the requirement for the width of a town road? Most of them are 50 foot right of way. Didn't that change? We, we do 60 in subdivisions, don't yeah. we? It changed, didn't it? I'm not sure. Well, three rod road is 50 feet. So. I think that's pretty. So it's from the edge of the road, 50 feet from the edge of the road? From the edge of the right of way. Yes, the edge of the right of way. So the, it's so. Well, it's well, in, in Jackson, that means it's well beyond whatever the paved or graded part of the road is. Yes. Oftentimes, yes. Because that could, you know, in some areas you need ditches to deal with water. I mean. Because many towns use the center line of the road as a setback. The center line of the traveled way. That's very clearly defined. Most of the surveys that uh, lot developers would get would set the posts at the edge of the right of way. Yeah. Yeah, there are on Route 16, for example, every so under feet there are monuments placed at the side of the road, which is the defined side of the road, the state highway, which is well beyond what the paved section is. Yeah. But if they ever put a three lane road up through, they want to know that they could go out to those monuments. Okay, uh, are there any other questions or issues with the proposal number two? Just a reminder to Betsy, there's another knot in the, in in the, the description. Area. Thank you, I caught that. Thank you. Oh, where? Yep, yep, the, 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 bowl. the description, the bolt. Oh, we have to strike out. Which is not? Oh. Oh. Thank you. On Amendment 3, the proposed Amendment 3, Tara Bamford recommends that we not have the soils in our zoning ordinance at all, but that we move it to the subdivision regulations. Um, the primary reason for that being that she feels that then it's easier for us to make changes as changes are maybe made by the soil scientists or um, whatever. So, rather than have to have the town vote on things that are really essential for uh, working with soils. But I think the wording that we have here in that we're not, it's um, with the HIS, we actually put the HIS um, chart in as our appendix. And what we've done here is just to reference the site-specific soil mapping standards and uh, listing a publication number, et cetera and date as amended. Mm -hmm. okay. So by saying that, if there as are amended. amendments, mm -hmm. then it would, um, mm -hmm. yeah, th that y you would be required to uh, adhere to whatever's the most re recent addition. Mm -hmm. So 
minutes. Are we good with uh, the third proposal? Or any other questions on that? septic system not be installed unless DDS determines the existing one is inadequate. They, they, they don't have an inspector. They don't do it. So that's just not true. Well, that was the wording I think that the Tara Bamford recommended we use. Because um, they could be she said that they will not allow it. She said they will not allow it. Doesn't exist. She said they will not allow a failed system. And, and, and I, I, I asked Burr about that specifically, and he, he had no idea of that. He had no comprehension of that at all. And he's kind of the one that should answer a question like that. I have no problem with the, with the wording of the ordinance. It makes sense to me, but just that, just the heading of okay. that. The DES does not determine that an septic system is inadequate. They don't do that. Anymore. You're saying they don't have the power to do that, or they don't they have just the don't manpower? Do it. They don't have the manpower. They don't have a, a section that does that. They'll look at wetlands. They'll look at if we have a spill. But they're not going to look at your septic system. Not unless it goes into a wetland. Mm -hmm. Well, well if, not if that's failed. a failed system, yeah. Yeah. that's... Just, yeah, but I just, that's all we have to do is remove New Hampshire DDS determines the existing one is inadequate. Mm -hmm. Because they don't do that. They will never determine that one is inadequate. So shall we end that yeah. description after the word apartments? Put down and recommend a change to the accessory apartments. Yeah. Or just unless the existing one is inadequate. Or unless the existing one is inadequate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Larry, are you talking about proposed amendment four? Four. It, it just the wording on it, it not be installed unless New Hampshire DES determines the existing one is inadequate. DES doesn't ever. Do I, even even while I 100% agree with you, I would like to have somebody explain to me what this says. Okay. Well, right now, um, our wording is not recommended by Burr Phillips. He's been distressed with that for a few years. Um, so he submitted to us a change for it. Um, and basically, this is exactly his wording. Um, he said that the state may not require that a new system be built unless or until the existing system fails. And when we put that wording in, Tara Bamford said, you can't put in that the existing system might fail the DES would not allow that to happen. So she wanted this wording. Um, if we're not going to go with that wording, that's fine. Yeah. I asked him point blank on the, on the system fails, and he said, no, that's, that's fine, that wording. You know, Burr, I don't, Tara Bramford, I don't know if she's qualified to comment on that. I'm sure she is, yeah. She is not a septic person. Burr no. does it every day of the week. Well, and I think it's fine if... It, so know, I'd like to get his opinion on it in writing so that we know what we're talking about. Well, I think if we omit the wording uh, where, you know, if we end with unless and then go to is inadequate, uh, unless the existing one is inadequate, um, I think, you know, okay. just omitting the... That will do the trick. The NHDES determines, then I think we'll be all set. It I won't upset... Can someone explain to me why it's necessary to change the wording as it exists in the ordinance now? Can someone tell me the fault of it? Yes. Right now, it says a state approved septic system sufficient to serve both the principal dwelling unit and the accessory apartment shall be in place before any construction or renovation is begun to add an accessory apartment. 
And Burr said that doesn't make sense because there might be an existing system that's adequate right now without putting in a whole new system just because you want to put in an accessory apartment. In effect, what you said in the ordinance the way it is now is that you're requiring a four bedroom plus another two bedroom size by your ordinance as it's written. Exactly. And that's the fault that Burr referred to you as. Yes, he feels that. The wording that you've done here two. doesn't really do that. Well, and Burr feels it does. Um, because he says that you have to have the designs provided. Do you have to have the design in place Did it fail? to build the accessory apartment? The design. In other words, you have to have the ability to create a system if the existing system fails. And this but doesn't say that. <clears throat> well, that was my understanding of what Burr wanted for words, well, that or the intent of the words. And when we had gone over this before, he used mm -hmm. the word fails in here. We had discussed this earlier, and we don't have the word fails in here. Well, yeah, I but it means the same, I think. Okay. But I think one or more current state approved uh, system sufficient to serve both the principal dwelling and it shall be provided, mm -hmm. mm, not mm, built, before any construction or renovation yeah, is done. Which one would the legislative Yeah, that's well, exactly this, this does correct that. Um, I, you know, my only problem I have is I think that the correction is more liberal than what our old ordinance was. It is. I mean, I, 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 the old ordinance is wrong. That's what I'm saying. It's, right. It's just wrong. <laughs> but I, I don't. I, I would. I don't see how the description of the change really matches what we're doing because we're really. It, it, I think it should simply say something like um, recommend a change so that a septic system need not be installed before construction begins. Well, that'd be good. That's, that? that's correct. But my, I guess my question goes to the fact that Jackson, as apart from the state approval system, has a more restrictive approval system than the state does. Right. And in this, are we waiving Jackson's more restrictive square footage requirement in deference to what the state, because it says what the state will approve? Is that the I, intent? I don't think this has anything to do with septic design, the size of the septic system. I think it has to do with whether you have to build the system in order to put in an accessory <coughs> apartment. What Bird meant, I think, meant by his words was you don't have to build the system in order to put in the accessory apartment. You have to have the design and available then. if the system fails. Correct. So but it doesn't say that you... And, and he's saying, as the state would approve. Yeah. So, no. in other words, if you, if you have an existing septic system that your house is approved for, whether it's a two-bedroom, three-bedroom, or four-bedroom, if, if, if you currently have an accepted system, you can put in the accessory apartment until that system fails, and then at which time you would have had to provide a new system. So we are falling back on what the state would approve for square footage requirement, because the state doesn't have a square footage requirement. That's a Jackson requirement. No. But we're not saying that you don't have to still comply with Jackson standards on soils. Right now, the way it's worded is a state approved septic system shall be um, is sufficient to serve both should be in place. And we're just saying that the design has to be approved. We're not saying whether or not... What the design you is. You don't have to build it, in other words. No, no, no you don't no. have to build it, right. right. It, so, it currently is existing. Yes, and so basically um, we're not changing what the standard is going to be. You still have to comply with Jackson's regulations. However, 
just as it says here right now, a state approved system has to be ready to go. Whereas right now it has to be in place. We're saying it has to be ready to go. And, and I would agree with Jerry, but not in regards to the change, but to the original ordinance. Yeah. Because the original ordinance says a state approved septic system needs to be installed. In place. Where it probably really should say a town approved septic system needs to be, you know, the, the original ordinance should have said a town approved septic system no. needs to be installed. It's if it's not me. And so, I don't know if that's maybe a change that we ought to make. The state respects them all anyway. Right, what Jerry's saying is that we require, we have a higher standard for septic systems than the state does. And so I think that 9.8 currently is, is really not, it, it basically it's allowing a state approved system. But how do our new words? I don't think our, our, our words don't change that. Right. They right. change just that it doesn't need to be installed yet. It just need, there needs to be a design in place. But it might be that we ought to change it to say a town approved septic system. You're absolutely right. Well, you have it stayed in, in your book now. Yeah, that's right. 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 So I'm suggesting that we change. Well, we can't. Well, I guess we can. Can we still? Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, we can still add changes. Yeah, but that. that and to me, that just... Isn't that changing the meaning, though? Because I, I'd like to just to include, include what Burr said. If the system failed, then you have to have it designed. That wasn't Burr's wording. That was our wording from one of the meetings. No. If the system fails. Mm. That was not Burr's wording. Now, I would suggest that we, we change that description. Where is that? In the regard, description of the change. The intent of the change is to not require a septic system be installed prior to, or a, a, a new septic system be installed prior to construction. <laughs> and we're changing the idea that it would be a state approved to a town approved. If we can do that within, my suggestion is that we do that if we can do that within the, this process. I don't know if yeah, that Scott would be. I, I agree with, the, as they say, what he said. Scott's right. All right. Oh, someone write that We're down. out of order. <laughs> 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 I know. I know. He wants to change it to town. Where um, is it stated that the, the, yeah, that's the what town, I town is more restrictive than the state as far as placement of septic systems? Well, do, we, do we have any regulations as to? Um, the requirements of septic systems? Uh, yeah, if you ask, if, uh, if you ask any, any, anyone who designs septic systems, they will tell you that Jackson's, Sucks. Jackson's requirement on septic systems is more restrictive than the state's. Yeah, but where are, are those requirements? They're the not, state requirements? No, no, the town requirements. Why, your, your town requirements are why your square footage and soils map. Well, that's, that's not. The, 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 that's not the design of the septic system. The, it, it the, comes the that's just minimum lot size. But, the, okay. but that the, it really doesn't. Um, the designs it are. Design. I mean, the state does set the. You don't know, you know why you include, include the soils map in your minimum lot size, sir. Well, there's minimum lot size, and then there is Sorry. then there are septic system designs. Those are two different issues when you are doing a subdivision. Isn't the state the norm normally the one that approves septic systems? Right. I know it was with yeah. our property. Right. So if you're doing a subdivision and building a house, and you've got to get uh, you know bring in get uh, subdivision approval, then you have to have the state septic system approval that's been part of our They checklist. come and measure how close you are to water and but, so But there isn't any town inspection, town regulations as to the design of the septic system. This is Burr's wording, the state approved septic. Right, and, I, and I'm all yeah. for that part of the, 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 the septic system. And I guess I was looking for a tent, but I think if, if the state approves a septic system, mm -hmm. 
and and it's a working system. You will allow them to build the accessory apartment. And as long as they have provided a plan should something go wrong. Correct. Is right. that the intent? Yeah. Right. Okay. That's what it says. Yep. Okay, my only question comes, and I'll be devil's advocate here, is that you have a house uh, that has four bedrooms, and you have a four bedroom septic system approved, and you want to put an accessory apartment there, which is two more bedrooms. So what we're saying here is that you go ahead and do that and wait till it fails. Am I reading this wrong? No, I don't think that that's true. Um, I. You, Okay. Let's, go to a, let's go to a real example. Mr. Weeder, in his house, had to declare that some of his bedrooms in his house would not be bedrooms yeah. in order for you to approve the accessory apartment. This corrects that, if I'm reading it correctly. So that he would not have to say, he was in a with a wink and a, and a nod, that these aren't bedrooms anymore. I don't see that this necessarily correct that. We had to do the same thing um, because we wanted to change a room to a, a bedroom downstairs. We had to make an upstairs former bedroom into a study. Um, that's, I, I think that that's not unusual um, because we only had a three bedroom septic system. Um, so we couldn't have four bedrooms. So I would think if you had a, a, a four bedroom house um, and then you wanted to put in a one-bedroom apartment, it would make sense to literally say that one of those four bedrooms could no longer be a bedroom. And you couldn't mark in, it as a four-bedroom house world, and so on. In the real world, who's going to enforce that your study is a study? Well, shortly after we did that, the town um, assessor came through and with no notice to us, of course, he went upstairs and he saw that it was a study. Um, you know, so could have I, had a Murphy bed there and blew it right out. You know, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> right behind the bookcase. Well, I, I, I guess it's just hard for me to imagine the selectman being in the business of telling people, eh, "I think that's a bedroom." There's written parameters for what is a bedroom. Hmm? There are written parameters for what is a bedroom. What is consistent? I believe it has to have. Closet. Yeah. Excuse me? I think that's it. I think, that's it. That's it. That's it. I think, I think Sarah is right. The way, the way we have it now basically says you have to have a design ready to go, but you don't have to install anything larger, even if. But that's what we're trying to get to right. with but, these words. But, but the description above does suggest that if it's not a state approved septic system for the number of bedrooms that you will ultimately have, then you do have to install one before construction starts. So if you have a, you know, if you have four bedrooms and you're adding an accessory apartment, one bedroom, so now you have five, but your septic system, your septic system is only before the description would suggest that you do need to put in a new septic system before you do any construction, whereas the ordinance, it, I think, says that you don't need to put in a new septic system until your four-bedroom fails. fails. And so I guess that's the question. Do we want, is it well, okay to let us... There's it nothing it? about failure in, in the words. Well, it just says that you need to have a design to start construction. It doesn't say that you need to execute that design at any right. point in time. So right. the only time you would need to ex execute it is if suddenly you didn't have a septic system that worked anymore. Could you add that on to the end of Warning. Well, I guess the, the first question is, do we feel it's okay to allow use of a, sep of a substandard septic system until it fails? Or if because of the number of bedrooms, the additional bedrooms requiring a septic system of greater capacity, should that septic system be put in place before those bedrooms are being used? Another question is whether they would be allowed to have uh, a prospective new septic system from a four bedroom to a five room based on soil standards, lot size, and all that too. They may not be permitted. Well, that's why I think the Based words that, say you know, have the design not. in place. Right. That's right. right. They may not. They, they can't get that design. If they can't get, get it, they right. can't then get they, can't the they can't build a system that would 
handle it if it was a failure or inadequate. I, I think that the inadequate is. John, on the Abenaki on the house, there was um, that there was some discussion as to whether or not they can have five bedrooms, mm -hmm. and it was determined that again we can't. The town doesn't have the right to tell someone you have to take down walls and make that five bedroom into three bedroom. And um, there was some argument that because of the wetlands around, the streams around, um, the water courses down the road, that a five bedroom septic system just couldn't be designed. What Burr explained to us was, hey, if they can build a 10 bedroom septic system, let them build it. The bigger the septic system they can build, the better protection there is. So to argue that they couldn't have five bedrooms was found to be inappropriate. That they have five bedrooms, the state will approve the five bedroom septic system, so let them build it. Um, build the septic system, that is, by state standards. It didn't meet Jackson standards. Right. But it meant From it offsets or? Oh, for everything, probably for everything. Yeah. 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 Streams, streams, roads. Okay, yeah, right. set from the stream. It was just one of those things that was set back. Bothered, you know, kind of situation. Yeah, it didn't you know. have the, the, but the just the property. But just the property. It didn't have the septic system. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, what, so if, if how did that end up? So, what I'm getting at, no, what I'm thinking, are you getting at that if we allow for a state approved system, it may not be adequate for Jackson because of our. In other words, we've got to have wording in there that it also meets soil samples, setbacks, and Jackson's requirement. Well, but you can't. I hope you wouldn't do that. Right. I I those know. words are there. Yeah. Not here, not in this, but they're in our ordinances. <coughs> Where? Well, that's within the whole section about accessory apartments. So basically, yeah. it, it's, it's not changing that. anything about. Um, and about the whole whether or not you can do the accessory apartment, all it's saying is whether or not you have to have a septic design uh, actually constructed or just designed. And, and, and you're saying it's okay to have it designed but not yet constructed. Well, Correct. that's what Burr recommends. He knows exactly. more about and it. Not, not. not ever necessarily constructed. Maybe not. Unless the point you have there. Good. And as yeah. long as that's your intent, I'm happy with that. <laughs> Which, I mean, you might have five bedrooms, but how often are well, that's all five bedrooms being used? Because, I know the, because the, state, the state requirement of gallons per day per bedroom is extremely high. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 But I'm, I'm quite happy with what you've done here, as long as that's your intent. Where is it? In words, that you won't, you won't right. come along later and say it's not the different from Yeah, I think Jackson's is just because of our soils. And that yeah, people say size. that we're more restricted. I, I, I had assumed that we were We don't wrong do anything so. different for septic design. design. Our soils lots are, are right. lots sizes are We just say yeah. what you get to start with right. uh, for a lot. But anyway, so are we changing wording here besides deleting New Hampshire DES determined? The wording as it is right now is exactly what Burr gave to us. Yeah. Right. And what uh, Tara recommends. So we're going to delete New Hampshire DES and then mm -hmm. put it forward. I think Scott suggested something um, after the word accessory apartments, unless. The existing one is inadequate. I'm taking out. That was Tara objected to that one too. Um, she said that the DES would not allow a system to fail. Um, so to have it in there, unless the system I wasn't fails. I was talking about the word fail. Um, what were you saying then? I missed it. The town engineer Burr Phillips recommended a change in section nine accessory requirements, and Scott said unless the existing one is inadequate. Right, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm just taking out the word from that all the way over to after the word determines. Right. That sounds good. Isn't that what you just Say that again? Uh, um, we're close. Lost here now. 
Okay, so I understood that we were going to omit NHDES determines, and that was all? Did we want to omit other wording well, too? Well, I think the description, again, suggests that it still needs to be installed if the, if, if, if you're going from four bedrooms to five bedrooms and you don't have a five bedroom septic system already in place, then, then if NHDES actually did inspections, they would say, no, that's not adequate and you would need to install the new one. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So, so I, I, I think that's not what we're really saying. We're saying you can use the existing septic system even if you have five bedrooms and it's a four bedroom septic system until your septic it system fails. fails, then you need to put in a septic system that will have the capacity for five bedrooms. And that's what you're saying. Right. And I, I think that's okay. But and so I, so I think I think the description but above clear? I think the description above needs to be changed. Right. Right. I think yeah. Yeah. But I think that we don't want to say unless it fails no. because that's Tara's problem that we should not say something about it failing. We can say unless it's inadequate. Yeah. No, I don't even think you need to say that. No. I think you said it correctly. Unless the e no, 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 you can't put the ES in there. So I, I would think you could say so that a septic system not be installed unless the existing one is inadequate. No, that's not, I don't think that's, that's not clear. clear. I, I think what it should, if it, if to match the ordinance, I think it should say that a septic system not be installed unless the current one fails. Because that's really what we're. And, and that's all I say is well, we. I mean, Howard Branford, once again, is not a septic person. Burr Phillips is. Could we get his wording in writing? Okay. Not, not That's your what That's what I'd like it in writing. And so that we have. That's have, what we're proposing. His wording is in writing right here, but you mean the description? Yeah, and, and, and the fails. And if the word fails, if we put that back in. <laughs> okay. Because I'd like to see him put that in writing so that if anyone ever questions us, <laughs> it wasn't, there's no interpretation. Here's the, the engineer put it in writing, mm -hmm. and this is what he feels is and I, who better knows. And I it think it very, very good. And I think that it also should say that a septic system need not be installed because we're not trying okay. to stand in the way of someone putting right. it in your septic system. We're just saying you don't have to. Okay. And so I would say, but that. you have, but the design. A uh, state place. approved design right. yeah. has to be. Right, so yeah. the septic system need not be installed unless the current the one fails, system. but a design is you know, better worded. But and, and the wording state approved is important. Yeah, right. State, right. State, approved design. state approved septic design sufficient to serve both the principal unit accessory part and shall be provided before any construction. Yeah. yeah. So, that's, and that's then we put saying. need not be installed? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good wording? Okay. Unless the existing one just fails? Is that what no. we're saying? No, you don't need to say fails. Yeah. Okay. You could just say. Because it, 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 it's without saying. It goes without saying. Okay. If the system fails, you have okay. You've got to have it. Right. Okay. The DES required. Not replacing a good one. <laughs> okay. Or you could say that a new septic system. Well, let's just get that wording down. That's all I want. So, exactly what are we going to write? Uh, the town engineer Burr Phillips recommended a change so that the septic system need not be installed. Anything else? Wouldn't it be so that a new septic system need not be installed? Okay, a new septic system. Because there needs to be an, a septic system. Oh, right. There. A new septic system need not be installed. Are we going to put it in less? No, if you just. No, need not be installed before construction. construction. Okay. But. A, uh, a state-approved yeah. design, design must be provided. But that's just really. Well, we don't need to put that in the heading, do we? That's we that's really that. that's really just restating. Right. Yeah. What, of what's the there. nine point eight? That's all. I'm I'm just trying to get the wording correct. Well, what I've got here so far um, is that we would add the word new before septic, and add the word need before not, and that then I would ask Burr to review that heading and see if he had any recommendations on a way to change it to make it clearer. 
Um, and as far as I understand, we're not making any proposed changes to the actual the wording of, yeah, 9.8. Yeah, that's, that's what I, okay. that's how I see it. I'd be glad to contact Burr and see if okay. he wants to rephrase the And a new septic system <coughs> be installed. Could we get that uh, but in writing? The plan okay. has to be not your Are we going, uh, right. we get it. I mean, in the plan, that's all right. I think you could just say need not be installed for construction to begin. The, the ordinance itself says, says, you have, it says you have to have a plan, but really the intent the intent of the change is so that people don't have to install. So do we meet again and have a meeting and vote for, or for construction for the words for this? No, we're, I think we've got it now. I think we don't need to unless we make some substantial changes, and as far as I'm seeing it. I don't think we've made any really substantial changes. Um, you know, we had that typo of the word not in right. proposed amendment two, but we have no changes in number one or number three or, or four, except in the wording that explains number four. Right. So, I so don't you're happy that if we find the words, we don't need another public hearing? That's the way it strikes me. Seems to me that unless the RSAs say something else, but I don't see we're making any significant changes. I don't either, but I, I want to hear that from the board. I don't want to have it as my opinion. No, just, I agree. I think we're just, just changing. Yeah. So we could vote on this tonight if we nailed out these words. Well, I'm happy to write the words, but if you need to have Burr write the words, and we have to do another process. Well, the wording is not for what people will vote on. It's just for the description. And so I think the way Scott has proposed that we do it would probably be fine. We're uh, proposed amendment four. The description would read the town engineer, Bert Phillips, recommended a change to section nine accessory apartments so that a new septic system need not be installed for construction to begin. I'd say to Period. occur. If you, occur. If you say begin, that kind of suggests that you okay. do need occur. to occur. I like that. It, that's right. more concise. Scott, would you make that clear? Uh, what, what you were going to well, say? Well, I think what we just came down on. Uh, so I would say, uh, well, uh, so that a new septic system need not be installed on before construction and before occurs. Before construction occurs. occurs. But in order, I guess I'll ask it this way. In order for you or for construction to in occur. order for you Not to before. issue an occupancy permit, do you want that new septic system built? Or are you saying we'll accept the septic system as it exists until there's a problem? As in any or you don't need to say until there's a problem. I think that's what we're saying. That's our intent. That's what we're trying to clear up is okay. that yeah. we're trying to say that. Things. You get the accessory apartment. But you have to have you a have plan. to have a design you have to be able to do do a full state blown of yeah. five bedroom or whatever it is plus a kitchen because an accessory but no apartment. No requirement to build it. No, right. at any point. No, right. You just have to have it there. But you can't so. rebuild the inadequate system that may have failed. You have to, when you rebuild. When you rebuild, you need a state approval. Yeah. Right. Anybody does that. Anyone needs that. Before the accessory apartment is built. What? Before. No. 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 You can use the, what's the, the, I, the way I read it is, you have your house, you have a septic, you build an accessory apartment. That septic's okay to do the accessory apartment, but you've got to have a state approved plan that in case it fails. Right, before yeah. you build the accessory apartment, you have to have right. that You have to right. have, have the plan, right. but don't have to build it. Right. Okay, you have to have a state approved plan. Okay. As long as that's in your record minutes, if that's your intent, I'm happy with what you're doing. Just, uh, this is just a note. Uh, Bird did say one thing to me. He said they changed the laws this year, DDS, on septic systems. That if you have a 20 year old system or older, you need a new uh, plan 
in place. You don't have to replace your 20 year system. But, but if you go to build, add on to your house, build, you know, you know, not a porch or a bedroom, I assume. So it's very similar to this. Yeah. And it's just a new law this year. And the key word there, Larry, was we don't have to build it. You just have right. to have the state yeah. approve the design. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. How are you feeling, sports fans? <laughs> I move that we accept the changes to the zoning ordinance as presented with the edits to the first test. Move, second. All in favor? All right, um, this is one question you say to prove your, your motion is to uh, put these on the warrant as yes. With the changes. So the only change to any of the proposed wording is that we're omitting my typo of the word not, which was not in the right. ordinance originally. Mm -hmm. um, so really, uh, since that was to be a strikeout anyway, as I read it, that is not a substantial change. No. Agreed. Okay. And then the change to the description of number four. Right, the description. And so I should not contact Burr about that description. We're okay with the description we have? Yeah, I mean, only if the owner who can do this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We have All right. additional approval, but I don't, think, I don't think we need to. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, now we'll move on to a discussion. Wait, can we go home? <laughs> <laughs> well then, somebody's going to have to make a motion. Motion to adjourn. Second. <laughs>